This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. How you doing? Gordo the Tech Star here. Welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. I got some old friends here in the house and we're going to talk about pub. Pal box, so grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair and sit down and we'll sit here. And how do you like my new uh, pal box t-shirt? Looks great on you. Stunning. Luxurious. Yeah, I'm looking buff too. Luxurious. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so thank you for the shirt. There's yeah, no, right on, Gordon. There's no free lunch, so now i got to interview you. Thanks so, for having us. I got, yeah, so we have Greg Hoffman here and he is the uh, head of sales for pal box. Yeah. And, we'll, and, and as well agree, he's the CEO and founder of pal box. Ibashi Talks third show, I think, you were on when you were just starting Powbox, which is right a before of I years, moved. Right before you moved a couple of a couple of years ago. Yep. And uh, we got a pretty good, I think, a nice success success story here you know, coming along the way and so on. But let me get, you know, we'll do a little quick refresher on who you guys are, you know, where you grew up, where you went to school, you know, get that out of the way because I like my my viewer to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and we'll get that, that out of the way, and then we'll we'll, we'll continue the saga of what's happening with Palbox. Sure, sounds good. Go ahead, Greg. Well, I'm Greg Hoffman. I'm the head of sales at Palbox. I'm from uh, Southern California, a place called Palos Verdes. I'm actually a University of Hawaii graduate. Oh, cool. I was out here for a while, and that's how I got linked up with uh, Huala and Palbox, and uh, I've been here since the beginning. Terrific. Yeah, yeah since the beginning of Palbox. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Wow, working with him for all that long time. Yeah, fucking <laughs> me, yeah. <laughs> I had hair when I started with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the downfall of yeah, all of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell us about yourself, Awala. Sure. Proud McKinley graduate. I've uh, been in tech for a while, been doing emails since 1999. Started Powbox in 2015, basically. Uh, when I was on your show the first time around, I think I moved to San Francisco the following week. Yeah. And we had about six customers at the time, and now we have over 1,200 in all 50 states. And uh, 1,250 states. Yeah. Of, of, of clients. And so, yeah. so, so, tell us about Powbox. Because Pow Spam, you started in the early early days yep. when all the email first started, and everybody was getting spammed to death. Yep. And yep. you came up with a solution that would uh, be easily implemented and prevent you from getting spammed to death. Yep. And that product is still around today. Yep. Yep. And then Powbox is. Uh, a continuation on that, but with a focus on encryption and uh, regulated industries, and mm -hmm. we're starting off with healthcare and HIPAA. So your HIPAA, HIPAA compliant um, <coughs> email. email. So, and yeah. for the for the viewers, you know, um, when you're sending email around and you've got health records on it, yeah, um, those records are open if they're not encrypted. Yeah. So it's a federal regulation required by law when you're sending protected health information to encrypt the data in transit and at rest, and email. Is basically, you know, U.S. healthcare is the last American business segment to use email in the workplace, and we just see a incredible opportunity ahead of us. So your 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 market is um, healthcare professionals. Is that yeah. your focus? And that's a great niche to start off, just because it's so heavily regulated. If you can be HIPAA compliant, I mean, there's a there's many other areas that we can go branch off to. From that, yeah, yeah. Then, you know, we, we talked about yesterday, like Seagull Schools is uh, uses uses your product yep. because they've got a thousand. Cakey children, yeah, um, and they want to protect that information that's being passed around uh, between parents and teachers and such. So they 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 wrap the pal box around um, their email. That's correct. So, but what isn't email already encrypted? Doesn't Google and Microsoft and all those guys oh. give me all this stuff? Well, there are legacy hosting providers out there today that do not support what's called transport layer security. Okay, uh, and in that instance, um, you're sending stuff in plain text. It's not encrypted. Uh, but we, you are seeing it, it's much more prevalent um, that people are adopting TLS. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming more and that more common. TLS, that, that Tra layer. Transport layer security, right. yeah. And only about 10% of email hosts today do not support TLS. Oh, do not support? Do not. So it's, it's pretty common. It's pretty, pretty yeah. common. So this is, so, um, but if I go and open up a Microsoft account and... But my email is not encrypted automatically come out of Microsoft. No, it's, it's the, the issue is that you might send it to someone who does not support TLS, and okay. then you are running the risk of leaving it vulnerable to a man-in-the-middle attack, someone okay. intercepting that email and doing something malicious with it. With it, right. Yeah. So, so um, now you've got, you've, you know, when you left here, you had a few clients. Six. Six, okay. And now mm -hmm. you're at how many? Over 1,200. Over 1,200, yeah. and you're in all 50 states. And four countries. Oh, four four now, yeah. Yeah, we've got countries. Australia, 
China, I don't know, a few, but uh, uh, focused in, focus in, in, in yeah. Hawaii. So, no, well, not focused in Hawaii, but focused in the United States. Yeah. So that's, that's a considerable amount of growth in three years. Three years? Three. Yeah. It's been three years. So yeah. you must have a, how's your staff now? Because it was like you yeah. <laughs> and him. That was it. So we're up to 12, uh, and we're making plans now. We've hit a certain revenue milestone, and right. we're looking to hit our next milestone within the next 18 months. So that's what we're busy doing at the moment. So, for the next so why are you back home? What are you doing back here? Why are you coming uh, back here? We, we're creating this uh, playbook that we want to replicate across the country, and we want to spend a week in a certain area where we have a concentration of customers, okay. and we just film as many customer success videos as we can in the span of a week. And we cap it off with a social mixer, which is tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get prospects and customers in the same room in a low pressure atmosphere. And we let the customers talk to our prospects. And that's where the magic happens. Yeah. Okay. But the strategic goal of the year is to build uh, a video library of customers having su success with Powbox. And we want to position ourselves as the market leader. And that, hey, if I'm the mainstream buyer, I'm not an early adopter, I'm a mainstream buyer. I won't get fired for buying Powbox, and look at all these people using it. Right. So that's the genesis of our week t this week, is filming customer success videos just back to back to back. Yeah, a lot right. of credibility and validation. I mean, starting out, one of the uh, biggest issues was people are saying, you know, this sounds too good to be true. How do we know this is really HIPAA compliant? How do we know yeah. that this is legit? Right, um, and and it, and and let's talk about that because yeah. you know I run up against this uh, you know and I use I use your product on yep. my GJB and Associates you know because I have I have healthcare clients and some of my healthcare clients use it and some of my healthcare clients don't use it I mean That's I right. try to convince them <laughs> it's always the IT manager that seems to be suspicious of what it is because it's so easy to set up yeah yeah. I mean, I don't know. So let's, let's talk about that. I mean, how long does it take me to get my email set up um, to be HIPAA compliant using Bobbox? Hoff, you want to take that one? <laughs> to get set up, yeah, we can have you. Well, okay, so we work with G Suite, Office 365, and Microsoft Exchange. So if you have one of those platforms in place, we can seamlessly integrate in in less than 30 minutes. We can have your entire organization up and running. So I could have, I could have the entire you know, Queens Medical Center, I'll pick that as an example, with I think it's thousands of employees, and turn up thousands of employees in less than a half hour. Yeah, what's great about it, Gordo, is there's nothing to install, there's no downloads or any plugins to deal with. It, to set it up, you go into your admin panel and you uh, make some minor configuration changes, right. like creating an outbound gateway or a smart host, right. and that's going to redirect your outbound email through Palbox server. Right. And at that point, you're good to go. And you're, from that point, you're on. So, so well, I mean, how, how, why would you not do this? I mean, you're not overcharging for this thing. It's not that expensive. That's why we moved to San Francisco. Yeah. Because we think we're onto a big idea. Yeah, because what happened here is you just couldn't get it to grow. That, and we didn't get taken seriously okay. with the mainline so, prospects. So there's an interesting little sidebar. You know, so you have a tech business in Hawaii, and yeah. you're not taken seriously. Oh, yeah. not at all. It's okay, not, why not is that? Because oh, they think the we're stigma. a gimmick. Yeah. They, yeah. they think we surf all day. We just so they still got that around. Mind. So they still have that, that mindset, you know, and, oh, yeah. and I, I did a show last week talking about Lucky You Live Hawaii, and one of my comments in there is like, we're ranked at the bottom, according to Forbes magazine, yeah. as a place to do business. Yeah. So we lose all the brain trusts to the mainland, and, uh, and all the tax revenue that you would generate if you were here. Yeah. Um, and uh, 15 employees you said now? Uh, 12. 12 employees, and all of what they would bring to, to the economy yeah. is all now in California. You know, the magnet in the Bay Area or, or Silicon Valley right now is stronger than I've ever seen it. Mm. I mean, there's people from the Midwest, East Coast. I mean, it's just, you know, you can run into a Stanford, MIT. I mean, the, the brain trust in it's Silicon Valley. It's all in there. Valley well, you've got incredible. Twitter is headquartered there, right? Or they're one four of their, blocks from us. Four blocks from where you are. Yeah. Um, and um, there's a whole other number, a plethora of, of tech companies all within that area that you're in. You name it. It's all in that spot. Slack so, is a block from us. Oh, Slack? Oh, I One use Slack. Block. So, yeah. oh, I Salesforce, less than a mile. Okay, I, Salesforce. I Eventbrite, got Yahoo, Uber, Zendesk. That's all within one mile of our office. One mile of your office. Yeah. Or half a mile. I like one of, the, one of the things, another thing is you do is like, um, you contribute to the community, which I think is kind of neat. You yeah. donate spam musu bees. I've ever seen something where you're doing that one day. When we hit our 100 customers, we did that. Hoff was there for that. And then when we hit 500 customers, we did another one. And then when we hit 1,000 customers, we'd give away 1,000. 
and Hoff is there for all of them. Yeah, yeah. well, in the Bay Area, I think these um, these big tech companies have a bad rep. They're, you know, they're just taking, they're making their rents go high. Um, so Hual is bringing that Aloha spirit out to the Bay Area, which is great. Yeah, I yeah. mean, um, how many people have had spam musubis before you guys got here? You know, we I can't even pronounce them correctly. Yeah. <laughs> we get some funny looks. <laughs> they, they look at it like, what is it? Yeah. Do I have to take the wrapper off? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, that's kind of that's yeah. kind of neat that you're you're at least bringing the aloha spirit, you know, to, to the Bay Area. And the staff gets into it. Yeah. Everyone gets into it. So yeah. you, you guys got to make them all. Uh, oh, not well. anymore. Well, okay. We, we tried it. that. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. oh man, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I, in my mind, I kept saying, I just can't see everybody in the Koala's kitchen making spam. It was actually food. my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It took us over eight hours to make a 100. Oh, we had all gosh. these bottlenecks, production bottlenecks. Wow. And after that, like, forget we'll this. Just pay we'll for just it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. terrific. That's terrific. Yeah. So, again, you, you know, we'll, we'll come back to this. You, know, you have this Powbox product, it's been around now for three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1,200 clients, yeah. hospitals? Couple. Yeah, yeah. Clay Doctors County offices, Hospitals. Tons. Uh, tons, yeah. um, groups, Yep. insurance companies. A few. A few insurance companies. Yeah. Um, early education, I know that yep. for sure. Mm -hmm. Make-A-Wish yep. is another one that-, that Make-A-Wish Hawaii. Yes. Make-A-Wish Hawaii. First customer. They're, they're, First one. They're, they're yeah. on it. Um, so what's the biggest challenge? Well, <clears throat> being efficient with capital. Okay. That's probably a, a, a big challenge. Yeah. So you, you're you're always fundraising. Mm, we're always mindful of the spend. Okay. Yeah. So you because you, you you're still you're still improving and enhancing the product continually. Continually. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when we come back from the from the break, we'll talk about your, the API that you're yeah you, that you've now just announced and so on. Sure. So why don't I do this? Why don't we do a grab a we'll grab a quick break. Yep. Uh, we'll pay our bills. Yep. Angus. Wants to talk to you guys, so he's going to come back in the house. Can't wait. Yeah, can't wait. I know, yeah. neither can I. I never know what he's going to do. Anyway, so Gordon the Texar, I'm here with Hawala and Greg from Powbox, and we'll be back in about a minute when we pay some bills. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Hi, I'm Pete McGinnis Mark. And every Monday at 1 o'clock, I'm the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa. And at that program, we bring to you a whole range of new scientific results from the university, ranging from everything from exploring the solar system to looking at the Earth from space, going underwater, talking about earthquakes and volcanoes, and other things which have a direct relevance not only to Hawaii, but also to our economy. So please try and join me, one o'clock on a Monday afternoon for Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa. And see you then. Koala Grevy, founder and CEO of Powbox. We're back from the break. Got a special guest with us, Angus Mac Tech, and I heard he's not Catholic. <laughs> How you doing there, lad? I let me know. No, MAC is Protestant, MC is Catholic. That's, that's what I've always said anyway. Great to see you again, Koala. Great to see you, man. Last time I saw you, we were tossing a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last night. Oh, 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 well, hey, shh. <laughs> I didn't tell the girlfriend that was up with you guys. Hey, Greg, nice to meet you, too. Oh, it's great to meet you. Hey, I got, I got to leave a, a couple of jokes for you. For you. Got, you know, HIPAA jokes, right? All right, Okay, shoot. you ready? Yeah. Knock, yeah, knock. Good. Who's there? HIPAA. HIPAA who? Hippopotamus. Ah! <laughs> okay, I got another one. Another one. We got another one. Yeah. Right. Knock, knock. Who's there? HIPAA. HIPAA who? If I tell you, I'd be non-HIPAA compliant. Ah. So I can tell you. Oh, man. How's that one? Okay, now I got one last one. This is not a knock, knock. So... What do you call someone that gets really, really sick every time they're thinking of HIPAA? Potential customer. I don't oh, know. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Man. They're also a hypochondriac. Hypochondriac. <laughs> anyway, anyway they got some, lots of great HIPAA jokes uh, out there. I couldn't, couldn't sleep last night thinking of them all. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for being out there. Congratulations on your success. And when you get some Thanks, money, throw it my way, you know, because those Scottish people are real tight. Sure, Angus. All right. We'll take care <laughs> of we'll, we'll, we'll be back. And yeah, hold on. We're turning it back over to you, and you can uh, take it from there. All right. All right. Hello. Ha. Let your wing gang free wherever you be. So Gordo, yes, uh, what do you see going on in the in the tech scene uh, in in Honolulu? Catch us up. 
Well, um, I think the biggest thing that's getting a lot of the press right now is, is this whole uh, blockchain mm. and cryptocurrency space and so on. And it's going to change healthcare. Is um, you know we, we can talk about the Bitcoin piece, and that's always got all the hype. But the the blockchain and what that's going to do to to medical records and and what will happen in that space, I think for you guys it's going to be a great opportunity, as um, as I think organizations like Epic and Cerner, who are the big EMR organizations at healthcare organizations, are going to have to be making some changes and looking at that. So that's kind of happening here. As you know, you know you're not going to get massive startup tech firms here. It just yeah. isn't going to happen. Um, we've Probably got some unlikely. co-working spaces that have popped up around uh, yeah. town, which is kind of nice. At least mm -hmm. it gets to get some starts, startups. Hawaii Venture Capital Association is still doing some investing in, you know, small investing sure. in, in players. But um, you're not going to see. There's just there's no incentive. I mean, when they took away the Act Two Two One money, right? Um, that 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 destroyed any incentive to do tech business here in Hawaii. Yeah, and then. Uh, and I'll go back to cryptocurrencies. You know, the legislature, these, not legislature, but these bright people down at the state shut down Coinbase. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't trade Bitcoin. So I went to, a, I went to a Europe and did it there. So now what? What are we going to do? I mean, they just don't understand. So that's, that's tech in Hawaii. As my mother in law would say, no hope. There's just no hope. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what she's talking about when I'm trying to speak Japanese. Anyway, okay, let's come back. So let's come back to this. Um, Pow Box. Um, I can I can go to palbox.com website. Yes. I can sign up for the product. Yep. And get a free trial. 14 days. And I can do all that without even, even having to make a phone call. That's correct. We've got self-service going. That's right. So you got self-service there. I can do it. But if I want someone, phone yeah. numbers, yeah. upper right hand corner. Call. Right. If you yeah. call and, and that's it. And they can do a, you can do a 14 day trial. Yeah. You turn it on. You get to see how it works. Yeah. And if you don't like it, you turn it off, and I don't have to go through any training of any employees. That's correct. It's all self-serviced all the way through. You got to go. Why around. does this sound too good to be true? <laughs> well, that's why we moved. That's Again. Why, yeah. <laughs> but, well, you it's moved. a big so, idea. Well, you've got 1,200 clients that have decided um, yeah. uh, that they're there. Do you know what the total number of email boxes that would represent? Wow. I, uh, uh, I think it's around 13 or 14,000, and we're doing about 7 million encrypted emails a month now. 7 million encrypted emails yeah, a month. There. That's Maybe pretty, eight. That's, that's pretty darn good. The market leader is doing 30 uh, a month, okay. so we want to catch them. So, but the market leader months. doesn't, it's not as simple as you guys. I don't have to set up a portal and do all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of friction. That's correct. Yeah, so Tons I, I got to go there, and then I, I've got to log on and set up a username and password and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Additional steps required. You're right, and so and you don't have any of that. Yeah, we just thought if we could put the user before the the technology and think about how the user would want it, um, that's guiding a lot of the engineering decisions we made. I, I know. <clears throat> for me, when when we you know, when then Seagull School when Seagull Schools went on to it, um, and they're on G Suite, so they're on yeah. you know, uh, Gmail, mm -hmm. um, but they're using a SeagullSchools.org as their as their domain. Got that all set up on on. Uh, with uh, Google, and then it was a matter of minutes just to flip to flip on the uh, the encrypted email. It was, yeah. it was kind of cool. It was very cool. I, I thought it was again. I thought it was too good to be true, but I got to live it and see it. So it was actually yeah. harder to set up my Google accounts yeah. than it was to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in retrospect, I would have done things a couple of things a little bit different than what I did initially when I set it up. So can you name drop it's like some of the some of the some of your special clients that um, that uh, are out Hawaii there? customers? Oh no, mainly anywhere. Uh, we closed a pretty decent one, a uh, skilled nursing uh, organization in Boston, uh, Nizoni Health, about 1,000 users, wow. e running Office 365. We got them up and running within 30 minutes. Um, closed a couple hospitals in the yep. Midwest. Clay County Hospital, that's a good size one as well. Um, Christie Management. Yeah, another hospital system. Yeah. Another ho hospital yeah. system. Uh, wow. Gosh, there's, it, it's surprising, uh, Some it's pharmacies. a wonderful surprise how big HIPAA is. Yeah, we've got uh, All Care Pharmacy, that's one. Oh, um, are they on it? Yeah, yeah. Surgery centers. Surgery centers. Pharma. Just well, there's still a lot that. you can go after. There's still anesthesiology groups. I oh, talked man. about those. Just... What about doctor's groups? But they're so cheap. Uh... Doctor's <laughs> groups are so cheap. And I can say it because I know they are. Hmm. Um, that's why they became a group and break off from the hospital so they can make money. Yeah. Um, that's their primary focus, in my opinion, mm -hmm. or whatever that was, is, is that doctor's groups focused on um, making money and then the patient second. So hard to get them to buy anything. 
Well, the nice thing about being in a regulated space is you don't really have a choice. You just have to pick something. something. Yeah, right. And, you know, we've done uh, our SEO and our marketing. We're very easy to find online. Right. We, have, we focus on uh, user reviews. So we have positive, a lot of positive reviews online. So, uh, you know, and it's all addressing the question, like, where is this from? Hawaii, too good to be true. So we really focus on nailing down all the objections beforehand. Now, what about the name? Now, now Pow Box, you know, we, yeah. it's a, it's a spin-off of Pow Spam, but right. how, how, how does that get reacted to? Uh, I don't know. Hoff's on the front lines a lot more yeah. than I am. Well, yeah, no, there's some confusion. It's kind of an odd name, so people mm -hmm. are, they're like, Paul Box, who's Paul? You know, they, there yeah. is some confusion there, but once you kind of explain um, the evolution of the name and where we came from, people get it. Yeah, because yeah, you would think it would be like a HIPAA mail or something like yeah. that. That would be... That would then well, be more... Well, we have ambitions beyond HIPAA. Okay. That's why we didn't use it in the next... Oh, okay. Okay, so let's talk about that. We yeah. mentioned that if you've got some, some of the next, next phases in the evolution of this product. Yeah, so uh, we released the HIPAA compliant email API a couple weeks ago. We worked very hard on that. We pushed for six, seven weeks. Just hardcore engineering focus on that. Um, so you can think of it as a HIPAA compliant send grid. So that's keeping us ahead of the game. So, so a HIPAA compliant application program interface that would go on to what? So you could have a portal or an app, and if that portal or app needs to deliver email that needs to be HIPAA okay. compliant in a, in a transactional manner, um, that's where you can plug in our API. So mm -hmm. if you've got something that's doing forwarding or sending out newsletters? That or, uh, you know, a receipt of, hey, your, your pharmacy results are are ready. Okay. Here they are. Email okay. notifications. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, your meds are ready to pick up, or sure. here's your lab tests. Yep. So, yeah. so I'm thinking that there's, um, I'm trying, I'm trying to set this up now, and it's a very complicated thing called my chart, right? So it's a, it's an epic product within the epic electronic medical record where right. I can actually get access to my, my chart, my right. medical chart, mm -hmm. right, and, and have it there. But you know, I've started, but now I got to make a phone call to the hospital. No one answers the phone in the hospital, so I gotta wait, wait, wait. I tried email, no, they want to talk to me on the phone, get that all set up. But I'm thinking, once that's there, that's a medical record that I'm going to be accessing through some portal, right? That may or may not be encrypted. Uh, it better be, but <clears throat> hey, you know, you never. <laughs> we're we're surprised every day uh, what we see coming across our inbound leads for sure. Yeah, th th what's yeah. happening out there? So. Um, I'm just sitting here thinking about all the different things we well, can do with this. Well, yeah, so um, last couple of weeks, on May 25th, GDPR goes live in what's, Europe. What's GDPR? Uh, it's a new set of burdens in healthcare, or regulations. <laughs> Opportunities. <laughs> Opportunities for you guys. So we've been getting a fairly steady stream of inquiries uh, using our product to attain GDPR compliance. Wow. And we're carefully looking at that. We don't want to claim stuff for not. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, but then there's you know there's Finra, there's other countries healthcare. Finra is the Finland. Uh, sorry, that's just the uh, financial regulation. <laughs> okay, see, uh, I don't know what this. Gets. Then there's going. mortgage regulation. You know, financial markets. There's education, but I think HIPAA and healthcare is is a big, big opportunity. That's, yeah, Absolutely. well, that's certainly the one. Yeah, yeah. The one. I mean, we our true competition, in my opinion, is the fax machine. Because it's just rampant in healthcare. Ancient technology. I know yeah. it, it is amazing that you know people are still sending healthcare records via fax. Oh, it's millions. Yeah, yeah very common. Day. So we need a fax encryption API that will allow you to encrypt those. Well, I think our encrypted email API directly can take out the fax machine. Yeah. When you can programmatically use that. To replace the fax machine. To replace the fax machine. Yeah. Oh, man. People save a boatload of money on those machines, too. Yeah. And I think that leads to a lot of um, user error, data redundancy. When you're getting a fax that you can't read, it's not digital. You have to retranscribe the information. The slowness of it all. I mean, it's really... Uh, yeah, labor-intensive. People are standing in front <coughs> yeah. of those things all day long. Talk yeah, about a cumbersome process. Yeah. yeah. If you leave the paper in the tray, that's a potential HIPAA violation. If right. you ever had an on-site audit, you've got the PHI just sitting in that paper tray. Yeah. All kinds of issues there. Yeah, and when I, I've gone to doctor's offices, and uh, I most, notice most of them have stopped it now, but when I first started going, they had the sign-in sheet. Yeah. And I'd say to them, uh, just so you know, this is 
a HIPAA issue you've got yeah. going right here because I can just now see everybody that, that at least I got their names. That's right. Now I see them in the waiting room, but that's that's besides the point. I can see these people's names, and I know what specialty you're. you Anything right, that can it. identify a patient. That's P H I. Yeah, yeah. So I see some of them now have um, gone away from that. Um, you go to one desk first, and you you let them know, yeah. and they write it down or put it on the computer, and then it, it, it's not there. But they're still there. There's still I still get um, sending newsletters. And it comes across my email. Now, I know it's encrypted because I've got Powerbox, but I don't know what they've got at their side. Yeah, that's another uh, opaque area, email newsletters and whether that breaches HIPAA or not. Right, because you know, yeah. if I'm getting that newsletter, it's indicated that I am a patient. You could make that inference. You that's could correct. make that inference and say, yeah. oh, gee, yeah, Gordon's going to go see this kind of That's correct. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's correct. Wow, wow. So, so where's your, what's your goals for the next three years? Oh, three years. Okay, pick, give, give me one year then. Give me uh, year. Yeah, so within the next 18 months, we want to 5x the business. And we're, we have a plan in place, and depending on uh, capital available right. or raised, we'll get there in 18 months or maybe 22 or 24 months. So are you at liberty to say what, what your, your top line is right now? Or sure, you... yeah, we just crossed uh, 1 million annual recurring revenue. So for us, that's an important uh, one million. Benchmark. One million annual occurring revenue. And yeah. let me ask you: Can you remember what you were making when you left here three years ago? Yeah, our cash flow. It was six hundred fifty dollars a month. MRR. <laughs> our monthly <laughs> recurring was six hundred fifty bucks. I, I specifically remember that. Six hundred fifty dollars a month, and in three yeah. years now, you've got a, you've just crossed the million dollar threshold. That's correct. That's terrific. Thank you. That really is terrific. You know, McKinley too. Yep. Yay, public schools. Yeah. So that's 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 awesome. Yeah. All right, well, any last message? You want to give your website and that before we wrap this thing up? Yeah, come check us out, powbox.com, P-A-U-box.com. Uh, we're the easiest way to send and receive HIPAA-compliant email, built in Hawaii. Now we're scaling in SF, and uh, we're living the dream, man, LTD. Yeah, LTD. Fun. It, is, it is fun, right? and I would, encourage, I would encourage people to definitely go look at it. And a 14-day free, 14 free trial, you've got nothing to lose. It's a win-win. Nothing breaks, nothing breaks. Gentlemen, um, you're going to get, this is your third solo cup. That's right. And I tell you, I don't want to see you selling these for Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is our autographed solo cup. You get to, right on, you get to have awesome. this. high honor. Then, Thank you, Gordo. Uh, awesome, tell you, man. Maybe it brings you good luck. Who knows what happens. Oh, yeah. But we'll see you in 18 months when you're, not, when you're at 5 million. That's right. That's, Roger that. that's the plan. Yo, come, come back. Pay us a that's visit. You know, make yeah. a donation we'll do. to uh, Hibachi Talk. That'd All be right. Nice. All righty. Hawala Gravy, CEO and founder of Powbox, Greg Hoffman, head of sales. Good job out there, man. Thanks, so thanks. I hope you give him next week a conversation. <laughs> hey, the highest paid person should be the best performing salesperson. Yeah, I, That's what I, I, I believe. I totally agree with that. So, Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Gordo, the tech star here. Thanks again for watching us on Hibachi Talk. You can follow us on hibachidoc.com. You can check us out on Twitter at Hibachi Talk. You can even follow Angus if you want uh, on Twitter and Facebook. I don't even know what he posts. I just pretend not to even know what's going on. But anyway, thank you guys. And you know, we have a tagline at the end of every show. Oh, yeah? we say. Yeah. So as we say at every show, at the end, one, two, three. How, How are you doing? doing? I screwed it up. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks.